But first, in the battle zone, a Republican group is airing pro-Bush radio ads that feature the voice of President John F. Kennedy praising across-the-board tax cuts. But Democrats, including Senator Ted Kennedy, say John F. Kennedy would never have endorsed Bush's tax cut plan. Is everything fair game in politics, or is this just bad taste? Joining us now is Republican Mayor of Jersey City, New Jersey, Brett Chandler. Hopefully... According to you, you'd like to be governor of that fine yes, state one I hope day. According to the people. According to the people. Well, it's up to them. Let the, and I, I was telling you off the air, you've done some progressive things there in New Jersey. City, I don't so. think there's anything more progressive than cutting people's taxes, giving them more decision making power over their own lives. Highly Republican well, ideas. It, whether or not it's time to cut tax, we'll debate that later on some other time, I'm sure. But let's talk about using. Uh, John F. Kennedy to right. promote, as if, as if the implication is that John F. Kennedy would have supported the George W. Bush tax plan. Well, you know that's not true. Uh, it's a misrepresentation are you kidding? to imply that. How, how can you possibly say that if you look at that full You can quote, look at the numbers. John F. Kennedy talks directly about how by cutting taxes we strengthen the economy. Now look, look, Alan, you guys want to tax people who have passed on. All we want to do is quote them. This is a person who was the president of all of us, not just the Democrats. And he was right that lowering taxes strengthens the economy and particularly helps people who are at the lowest right. end of the But the point ladder. is, it's disingenuous to suggest that John F. Kennedy would be supporting the George W. Bush tax plan, given the debt, the debt then was $250 billion, as opposed to the trillions it is today. The, the, the particulars, all the numbers were different. You can't compare the economic particulars back then to the way they are today. The issue is, are you going to cut taxes so you can keep the economy growing and help people with jobs and prosperity? Or are we going to allow this recession to become something even bigger? I think Ted Kennedy probably understood what his brother would have done. Ted let's Kennedy say, is totally partisan. Well, let's, well, and, and look, uh, you're not. Let's, uh, let's, 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 let's talk to, uh, let, let's, let's hear what Ted Kennedy had to say about this. The uh, use of uh, President Kennedy's uh, 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 voice as an indication of a, a support for the, uh, the President's tax bill is, uh, doesn't to pass the truth and advertising test. It's a, uh, it's a, a gross misrepresentation of what President Kennedy would have done. I think he has a pretty good line on what his brother oh. might have done, he and he's is. pretty offended by it. And I think a lot of people are pretty defend, offended by, by this use. No way. What, what you're seeing there is a guy who knows that his brother supported this kind of tax cut, but, and he's it, feeling very sheepish about You say this kind things. of tax cut because the Kennedy tax cut uh, gave only 6% to those making in today's dollars over $300,000 a year. Uh, the Bush tax plan gives... Uh, a lot more than that to the, the Bush, people in the same income bracket. Alan, it's not correct to compare the two. You know that. Alan, to be we true. have a 40% income tax rate here. You add in state it taxes, was 91 payroll taxes, back right. then. Right. 91 you know what? Back they then. just can't handle this. You know why? Because it's killing them. It's because, killing them. Because, not true. because this shows how far extreme to the socialist left the Democratic socialist Party left. has moved. You know what? We have a saying at Fox we report, we let the people decide. I think. These words of Kennedy sound just like George W. Bush, let's run the tape. Amen. Hopefully. <laughs> Hi, I'm Steve Forbes. Some Democrats are supporting President Bush's tax cut for working families. Others are undecided, like Senator Tom Daschle. But they would do well to remember that Democratic President John F. Kennedy also proposed an across-the-board tax cut back in 1962. For all these reasons, next year's tax bill should reduce personal as well as corporate income taxes. For those in the lower brackets who are certain to spend their additional take-home pay, and for those in the middle and upper brackets who can thereby be encouraged to undertake additional efforts and enabled to invest more capital. If Democrat Jack Kennedy could support a tax cut in 1962, then Democrat Tom Daschle can support a tax cut today. Call Senator Daschle at 202-224-2321 and urge him to support a tax cut for working families. Paid for by the Issues Management Center. That's an awesome ad. Isn't that great? That's an, uh, that is so dead on because that, that is, and you know what? Ted Kennedy will never be a President Kennedy because mm -hmm. uh, he has moved so far to the socialist left. And you're, what you were commenting on is perfect. You had a president who some of us didn't think was the best in the world but he did some wonderful things but he could not get elected today That's he right. could not win the democratic primary today they would That's say right. he was some right-wing nut yeah. for believing that people hey, should be able reagan, to have you, their reagan own money. used to be a democrat the party left him yeah i guarantee based on if his philosophy stayed the same 
uh, he would be a Republican today, President There's Kennedy. No doubt. And that, that <laughs> no just doubt. killed. That just I was absolutely a Democrat killed. once. Well, you know was... what, what's amazing about this is that they're, they're so outraged that you play it in its full context, in his own words, saying exactly what Bush is saying today, and it makes the case so effectively. They have to. Well, uh, they just have no. Sean, they can't argue a with Jersey it. Jersey City family making thirty-five thousand dollars with yeah. two children. Under the Bush proposal, they will pay zero taxes. Yeah. They're, make, they're having a hard time making ends meet right you now. Know what it is? This gives them a relief. Democrats don't want to give up spending, and they don't want to give up their power, and their power is accumulated with the tax dollars that they redistribute. And this is a threat to the very core and the very essence of their power structure, Absolutely. and that's why they don't like it. That's happening in Virginia right now. Governor Gilmore campaigned and won on a pledge to get rid of car mm. taxes, and now you've got the legislature balking because they don't want to have to deal with the fact that you have to control spending and, and when you cut taxes. How great would that be? Could the thought of actually yeah. reducing the rate of growth of government, that scares the way. That report out came out today, the Republicans are doing more pork barrel spending in this Congress than ever happened before. And look uh, at President Bush standing up there and saying, let's cut this. Well, and let's cut these taxes, Alan. It will right. help every American. Mr. Uh, Mayor, thank I you like very it. much. Thank you very much. Coming